Hey, welcome back to Driver 88. Today we have one of my very most favorite segments on this show. It's the Greedy Gone Award. Now, we've been doing this for many, many years now. Essentially, if you don't know who Carlos Ghosn is, he's the former CEO of Nissan, Renault, and Mitsubishi, and allegedly, he stole millions and millions of dollars for himself, uh, siphoned through these companies, and then escaped to Japan inside a double base case. So, we choose five different cars every single week. There could be a private sale, there could be a uh, dealership for the very most greedy car flippers you can find. And we'll also take your submissions. So this is our third episode of the Greedy Gone Award. This is the Porsche edition. I love Porsches, it's my favorite brand, and there's plenty of people who try to flip them as well as the allocations for them. So we've found a couple. I used to drive one of them um, until Mimi put me on Channel 9 speeding. Uh, anyway, onto the list. This is the Greedy Gone Award Porsche edition. Let's start with number one. So number one on the list is one of the most flipped cars in the last two years, of course. It's the 992 GT3. This one in, I believe, a PTS Silver with pretty much no options. It's a manual, not particularly special car in any way. However, this person wants to ask 620,000 Australian dollars. Uh, given that this was ordered probably before the two price rises, this guy probably paid like 460 grand or something like that. And Tom, please cue the music as I read the description. <laughs> this car was driven from the Porsche dealer in Brighton to home via Brighton Beach to get some photos and remain garaged. It has less than 100 kilometers on the odometer. <laughs> of course it does, mate, of course it does. Driven from Brighton dealership straight to the Brighton Beach and then home uh, in the Brighton garage. Unfortunately, there are a number of competing issues that have emerged. I am looking to divest luxuries and get back to basics. I wonder what the basics are. This is a once in a lifetime, absolute dream, forever car. It was ordered new some 18 months ago and finally took delivery in late October 2022. Mate, if this was an absolute dream, a forever car ordered new, I don't think, um, unless he's planning on living a second lifetime in Brighton and ordering a second GT3, it's definitely not a once in a lifetime forever car because he's trying to flip it for $150,000 over retail. So number two on the list is, I guess, a good evidence of the Porsche mania, uh, because this is a car that usually was never ever flipped or really that hard to get. Even though I'm a massive fan of the 992 GTS, people have ordered them and then tried to flip them. So we've got two examples here, people asking like $50,000 over probably what they paid like a year or two ago. And of course they've been sitting on car sales for the same amount of time. Uh, again, I love this car, but there's already one starting to turn up at the dealer with a little bit of K's for 50 grand less. Um, so unfortunate for those people trying to get the Greedy Gone Award, I don't think they're going to get any sales. Now fourth on our list is a one that's recently come up to my attention because the 718 GT4 and Spider have been recently discontinued. And so of course dealers are trying to cash in on the FOMO, uh, a car that is definitely a great all-rounder, but I don't think worth something like 320,000 Australian dollars. This is solidly over the recommended retail price that I paid for this sort of spec here, black one in PDK, like 250, 255 grand. Um, so obviously a really good greedy gone participant. So guys, that was our Porsche edition of Greedy Gone, and I'm sure there's gonna be lots more Porsches being flipped. If you get any examples that you find are particularly egregious, uh, please send them into Driver88 and we'll put them on our show. As always, thanks you, thank you very much for watching um, and we shall see you next time.